Welcome back. In honor of Father's Day, we thought it would be fitting to do a tribute to our fathers and fathers everywhere. Since we don't know fathers everywhere, but we know our fathers pretty well. That's right, we do. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Amy and Dave a few questions, and then we're going to see where that takes us. So let's start with Dave. <laughs> oh, man. Right off <laughs> the bat. Right. right off the Dave. Well, Amy's over here. So That's right. Well, <laughs> and, get and to her. We had the chance to meet Dave's dad last month, and he is just delightful. He's he such a nice, delightful. nice person. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I, I wish we had more time um, to hang out. And originally, we were going to try and play some music, and mm -hmm. the weekend kind of got away from us. So, so tell us about that history, because you know your dad was your big musical inspiration. So yeah, my, you my must mom. Have a story. Yeah, my mom and my dad. Uh, my dad played music like in, in high school, and he was in a band, and uh, he played with with Neil Sean from Journey. Like they went to the same school, and. Um, I think the, he's got some cool stories, but one of the stories that sticks out the most was in high school on New Year's Eve, him and his band uh, backed up the Isley Brothers at the Cow Palace in San Francisco. That's really cool. And That's a cool story. Yeah, so like, you know, they would have like one band that would play for all of the bands that were performing, and so he got to do that. And then when he got older um, and Jimi Hendrix came to San Francisco to play at the Fillmore for the very first time, he shared a bottle of red wine with Cabernet, I believe, with uh, Janis Joplin and watched Jimi Hendrix play. And wow. I mean, San Francisco That's in the amazing. 60s was a pretty it was influential a hot music time. Scene. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, I think he was at the, the Altamont show where the Hells Angels ran security and a <laughs> wow. couple of people were stabbed. Oh. Not my dad. No. But, That's good. Um, yeah, so he was around music and played music. And as I got older, um, I kind of started to get more interested in it and when him and his friends would jam and you know play at the house after dinner and stuff they'd always give me a harmonica and leave room for a harmonica solo and nice. um, so yeah whenever we get together you know we we play music and um, I, we're very much the same person so mm -hmm. it kind of drives my wife crazy like she's like <laughs> When they were visiting, she's like, ah, there's two of you. Like, <laughs> after a couple of beers, you guys just want to play guitar and sing and, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, and my mom, too. She's musical also. So um, we got to hang out last weekend for Mother's so Day. Great. So That's great. Got to see the whole family this year, you know. Very fun. Yeah. And I got to meet Amy's dad a couple weeks That's back. That's right. right. That's right. And he was adorable. And my you guys also have a big musical history, but we you have do. other stories. We do. We So my dad was also a musician, and he did it. What's interesting is, Dave, your, your dad did it as a hobby, right, for most mm -hmm. of the time, yeah. and went into business. And my dad loved business, but went into music for a profession. And so he'd been doing it since he was little and um, had some good success with it. And so we would tour as the Osmond family, and I got to go on a lot of the tours with him, so which was so fun. So I grew up in a um, in a hotel pretty much until I was six. How, how long would you guys be on the road? So we would go for months at a time. Really? Yeah. Months at a time, yeah. I remember some of my earliest memories where my mom was always trying to give us vegetables, right? And so so we would be like sitting, my brother and I would be sitting there with our baby food jars and we're like, I want the pear one, I want the peach <laughs> one. And then we should give us spoons and we, th those were our vegetables, right? <laughs> then we go out and eat afterwards and get all the, you know, french fries. All the good but, stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> but um, that was so fun and, and just tra I love traveling with him. And then later in life, um, I got to be the violinist on the Osmond Family Theater show, and so we would do two shows a day, six days a week, and my dad and I um, formed a really strong bond there, too, because we were always together, Yeah. and um, we would, you know, he taught me how to, like, we'd, like, jump on stage together, and he, I was, I was uh, the... Um, in his magic trick act. So he turned me into a pig every night. <laughs> <laughs> so, like a live pig? Yeah, a live pig. I became like Daisy. Daisy would go in the box and a live pig would come out. Daisy the pig would come out. Oh yeah, God. every night. It was, and I just kept coming back. <laughs> How much so fun. it was so, I love that. But some of my favorite stories about my dad were not music related. Um, for example, 
Um, when we were little, he loved to fix cars, and he's, he's very handy, and he's very good at fixing things. And so um, when he had this forklift in our garage, and he'd go out and fix his Jimmy, had this old orange rust-colored Jimmy. And so he'd go in there and fix his Jimmy for hours and hours. He taught me how to weld and solder when I was like eight. Oh, wow. And it was really cool. But, but anyway, he had this Jimmy, and it would break down, and then he'd fix it again, and break down and fix it again. And he got back... Um, from the road and he was kind of exhausted and he, it had been a couple of weeks and he had a gas leak in it. And so he, he was too tired to fix it. And so he had these military gas masks and he would just drive around town with his gas mask on and he had a companion gas mask. So you had one too. <laughs> so we would drive around and whoever was sitting in the front seat with dad would be like, <laughs> Oh, how funny. <laughs> drive all around the city with our gas masks oh on until gosh. he fixed the car. He was, he was always doing something funny like that. Well, anyway, what about Great you, memories. Lauren? What's a, what's a good memory of your dad? So my dad was a pharmacist, and mm -hmm. his dad was a pharmacist, so they worked together in the store. And then I would go, and I wanted to work with them. I mean, my dad worked a lot, so it, mm -hmm. was, it was hard to see him. Mm -hmm. And so if after school I could get dropped off down at the store, and I was allowed to restack the candy mm -hmm. stands, and, um, and for a full day's work, I actually got into business school on this story because this was my history of how I uh, got interested in business was that I used to work a full day at the pharmacy for one of each. Oh. One of each was a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. Oh. So for 41 cents, which I'm pretty sure child labor laws would have issues with that today. <laughs> yeah. But that gave me experience starting dealing with money, learning how to use the cash register. So I learned a lot wow. of stuff by spending counting the pills. How you know, old were you? I, I started when I was like, oh my God, my earliest memories probably when I'm about three, I used to go down. Wow. Because that was when I got my first makeup kit and they had this big makeup counter at the store. So yeah. it was the salesman who used to bring the samples for my mother, brought me my own kit. So I, I remember being at the store all the time, holidays especially, because Christmas Eve was the biggest mm -hmm. night. We, it was all hands on deck and everybody was wrapping gifts. We were open till midnight and I'd be in the back. I was like the, the guinea pig in the back, like the mouse. Mm -hmm. I had these little fingers and I could wrap the gifts really nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of the other things that I remember just is that he would sometimes work a split shift. And so sometimes when I came home from school, he would be there and he would eat lunch and then he would watch uh, the doctors, the soap opera, the doctors, keeping with the theme of pharmacy. <laughs> and then he would take a nap. So I would, of course, grab my snack while he's eating his lunch, and then we would watch the doctors together, and then I, we would both take a nap. I mean, oh, that, that was sounds like, amazing. Right? <laughs> so when, but when those times happened, they, it, it, I never knew when, because his schedule was mm -hmm. super flexible. So those are, those are just like, like little kid memories, because when your dad works a lot oh, yeah. away yeah. from the home, and you don't have an opportunity to go so with do, them. Yeah. Yeah, once I was six, um, we quit you know, traveling, because so, my mom wanted me to go to school and have a normal mm -hmm. life, which I totally appreciate. Um, but dad was gone for months at a time, yeah. you know, and so you treasure those memories that you have with them when, totally. when you can. Yeah, totally. That's really cool. Well, luckily you have a pretty big family, so I'm sure you're... you're there, there were so many people to keep track of, <laughs> yeah. let's yeah. be honest, <laughs> I mean, really. But it's fun to see, like, kind of some of the influences that our fathers have had on us. Like, you're an amazing musician, mm -hmm. you know, and Thanks. you get that from your dad. And now I understand all about the makeup counter at the <laughs> pharmacy. That's that where really it all started. a lot. <laughs> that's where it all started, and the 41 cents a day, which that's was right. always a big, big joke. Uh, so that, that is so yeah, great. I, I, I don't think when we're younger we realize, like, how much influence our parents really have like mm -hmm. I uh, I started doing a podcast with my friend and I, I interviewed my mom over the weekend because she's working on a book and she mm -hmm. got some representation and she was in the music business for years mm -hmm. um, and for her it became a profession mm -hmm. and like I, I didn't realize it was like oh my god like while we're talking I'm like I'm you <laughs> like, <laughs> that's where I got my like like entrepreneurial spirit from yeah. and stuff like that mm -hmm. and you know um, same thing like when I'm hanging out with my dad, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm totally mm -hmm. you in we a different form. We really are a product of our environment in so yeah. many ways. And so. I've yeah. always said my dad, especially, I mean, my dad more than anything, he never told you how to live your life. Mm -hmm. He just lived his mm -hmm. and let you watch. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, just by example, influence. really mm -hmm. by example, just a super good person. He's totally, 
he's the he's he's a Leo. Mm -hmm. You see, he's totally the lion, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have the whole big den of of cubs, but mm -hmm. it's a small den. But he his happy his happy place is when everyone's together. Yeah, just everyone wants to be there. He doesn't even have to. He'll be off to the side just quietly, so happy watching everybody be happy. Silent and observer. That's that's just it. The silent yeah. observer. And then when you'd say, so dad, what do you think I should do? The answer was always, well, let's just wait and see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, but I, he said, nope. Let's just wait so and see. So he taught you your patience. Which I still don't have, <laughs> which is why he was the perfect balance, uh -huh. yeah. right? And my mother and I are, are mm -hmm. like jump and go. Mm -hmm. And my father was, how about if we just sleep on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what it looks like in the sunlight. It was an important things to remember. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we love you dads. We do. We love you all and we are grateful. And we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day to celebrate you. Happy Barbecue Father's your hearts day. out. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Day and good day, Orange County.